Okay, so remember in part 10 when we set up our apps configuration? Well, we never finished. We still need to get our configuration working on Heroku. Fortunately, this is simple. Now, before I jump into this tutorial, I want to give a shout out to RealPython. So, RealPython is behind all these videos, and I encourage you to support us by buying our course, which will allow us to continue to make free open source videos like this. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our configuration file within Sublime. And to refresh your memory, we have the development config and the production config. And each one of them inherits from the base config here. So you want to put configuration settings common to all environments in your base config. Then each subclass, so the development config and the production config, will contain specific settings for each environment. So now if we open up the app.py file, you can see here that we import the appropriate config settings based on the environment variables. So this literally just checks the environment for the variable app settings, which again we already set for our local development environment. So to add this to production, we first need to grab the Heroku remote name. So let's go ahead and open up the terminal here, and to do that, we can just run the command git remote-v. So the remote name is Roku, and this is standard for all Heroku applications. You can change this, of course, but if you just set up an application, this remote is going to be named Heroku. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab this command here. So this is the config command, which is used to manage configuration variables. And literally, this, will, this sets the app settings variable to our production config. And then you can see here it uses that remote that we uh, just looked up. So let's go ahead and run this. And that completed. So now our app will use this variable to load the con correct configuration settings. So let's just go ahead and do a quick sanity check. So to do that, let's go ahead and add a print statement. Let's print and paste this. So we're gonna go ahead and print that app settings variable which is found in our environment. So let's go ahead and commit and push this to GitHub. Or I'm sorry, Heroku. So git add. And then git push Roku master. And so now all we need to do is run this command, so Roku run. And run is used to basically run one-off scripts or commands. And so now we can run our app. So Roku run python app.py. And this is going to run our app on the Romo environment on Roku. So, okay, we're getting a key error here, and this is actually expected. So it can't find that database URL variable within our environment, which it's looking for right here. And that's because we don't have Postgres set up on Heroku. So we can go to this page here, and I'll throw the URL to this page within the video's description. And this is going to tell us how to add on Postgres. So we literally can run this command here, this Roku add-ons, and then add Roku Postgres SQL. So let's run that. So next we want to go ahead and promote this database, which is called Roku Postgres SQL yellow URL, as our main database. And to do that, we use this command here, Roku PG Promote. And then I'll grab the name of the database, which is always color related. So again, this is going to promote that database to be our main or master database. Cool, and you can see the output here that it literally just promoted that. And now it's associated with that database URL. So now if we run that command, 
Roku run python app.py. This should work. Awesome. So you can see the output here. This is for our production config. And you can also notice that we are not in debug mode. So if you go back to the configuration here, you can see debug is false, so we should not be in the uh, debug mode. So let's go ahead and kill that, and then go back to our app.py. I'm going to remove the print statement here. And then before I forget, let's go ahead and, and remove this code down here, even though it is commented out. We don't actually need this anymore because we are using SQL Alchemy to connect to the database within our config file. So I'll save that. Let's go ahead and commit the changes again. So get add, get commit, say updated config, and then get push Roku master. Okay, so that's done. So just two more quick things before we finish. So if we do Heroku open, you can see that we're getting an internal server error here. So we do have Postgres set up, we just don't have any data in there. And so where we're at right now within the app, I believe is trying to load data in. And so we're getting an error. So I'll show you how to troubleshoot this next time. And then one more issue is actually the configuration file. It's not a big issue right now. However, we do have some sensitive settings in here, specifically the secret key. We never want to expose that to anybody. So I'm going to show you how to keep this out of your version control, especially when you are pushing to GitHub. And so finally, there are other methods of setting up your app's configuration settings. So if interested, Check out the Flask documentation for more info, and I will throw the link to this in the video's description. So that's it for now. So next time I'm going to show you how to migrate data over from our local database, which is SQLite at this point, and then upload it up to our Postgres database on Heroku. Cool. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.